Good day fellow investors, my name is Sven Karlin and today we're gonna see whether we can invest like Gary Vaynerchuk. There are three things I want to talk about. His risk reward balance, his connections and his money. We're going to see why we can't invest like him, but there are some, some similar things that can give similar results as are in the same niche, investment niche. So let's start with the risk reward balance. Gary Vaynerchuk invests in a company and he's ready to lose his complete investment. So that's all he can lose. If he invests 10 million in a company, he can lose 10 million. However, if things work out as they have worked out with Tumblr, Uber, Facebook and other companies he invested in, he makes 5, 10, 20, 50, 100 times his investment back. So he can allow for 8 companies that he owns to go bankrupt, one will be sold at break even, but the one out of 10 will be a huge success. So if you want to invest in similar companies, you have to have a similar strategy and a similar risk appetite. So you have to know, okay, I'm going to invest in 10 companies and out of the 10, I will lose everything on 8. That's the first thing. So that can be replicated. The second thing I want to talk about is his connections. Gary Vaynerchuk invested in Facebook because Zuckerberg's parents wanted to sell some stock. So you have to know Mark Zuckerberg, you have to have the money to invest at that point in time. So you have to be close to the fire. This is something obviously 99.9% .9 of investors is not. So what's left? The other thing to do is to invest on the stock market with a similar strategy. Facebook IPO'd, Snapchat IPO'd, uh, Twitter IPO'd. So you can, all, you can wait for those companies to come on the stock market and then invest. Of course, the big boys have already made that, their money, but Facebook is now a seven-bagger from their lows. So uh, there is plenty of opportunity, but always keep in mind, one out of 10 will make it. And when you make a lot of money, you can then go invest into new startups at the first, second, third venture capital round. But for now, if you don't have the capital, the connections, you can do what Gary does, but you can do it at a later stage. And there's still plenty of money to be made. To conclude, be careful out there because investing in such startup companies, companies that have revenues like Snapchat but are losing a ton of money. Snapchat makes one dollar in revenue per every user but loses two. So that's not really a business I would like to be in. However, the future might look promising but it's not the case for now, but you never know. Be careful out there, a lot of things can go wrong in these waters, so be prepared to lose a lot and try to calculate the risk reward of investing in a social media company on the stock market. Look at how many IPOs were there and then see, okay, 1 in 20 makes it, 1 in 10 makes it, and more 1 in 5 makes it. There are a lot of Chinese social media companies that are very, very cheap. So try, see and uh, hope the best. I'm not investing in such companies. I'm a value investor, so I'm an old, boring investor. But many younger or investors that want to have an exciting part of their portfolio that are, can be even older, uh, I'm sure will be interested in uh, this investment strategy. Perhaps I'll even make a video one day about some Chinese social medias 
social media companies because there is some value in them. So even if everything goes wrong, you cannot lose much. And that's the investment I prefer. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, please leave a note below. Like the video if you like the content and subscribe for more. Thank you very much. See ya.